G'day, my name is Chris Mifflard, I'm a Vico project engineer and this is the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 7. We're going to learn how to assign risk levels. In this vignette we're going to teach you about the different types of risks that we aim to mitigate using location-based management systems and how we enter risk values in Vico Schedule Planner. There are five categories of risk that we'll assess in our Monte Carlo risk simulation. Number one is the starting risk or the likelihood that a task will begin on time. Number two is the duration risk, or the variability of that duration linked to the individual location. Number three is the resource beginning risk, or the variability tied to getting resources mobilized when needed to begin that task. Number four, which is the resources come back delay, or the delay associated with the crew's return if it is forced to demobilize. And finally, number five, production factor risk, which is the variability of the production factor, for example, the skill level of a subcontractor. Let's navigate to our spreadsheet menu to the risk levels dialog. Start to assess the different risk levels for each task. As a default, all risk levels will be set to zero. It's important to coordinate this portion of the schedule with the attending superintendent or even better to include the subcontractor. By understanding their expectation, we can now assess the schedule as it relates to their perceived notions for each different risk level associated. We can assign risk to a task as a whole. We can select a low, intermediate or high level of risk for each of the different risk values. Alternatively, if we feel that different locations will include different levels of risk, we can set these values independently. Let's complete this example by setting the risk levels for each of the tasks within each of the risk categories for our schedule. If we know that several of the tasks will have the same risk levels, we can simply select each of the different risk categories for each of the different tasks and select the corresponding risk value. Let's continue and select the remaining risk values for our outstanding tasks. With our risk levels set, we are ready to move on to the next vignette and begin our Monte Carlo risk simulation. In this vignette, we learned about the different levels of risk and how to assign risk levels to tasks. We can draw inspiration from the Sterrett brothers who built the Empire State Building in 1931. It is an important lesson in the pursuit of speed was to disconnect different portions of the work as much as possible. By eliminating as much of the contact between trades as was possible, the builders reduced the risk of cascading delays. 